How's it going guys? Uh, thanks for clicking on that video. I really appreciate the support. Uh, in this video, uh, I had a few requests there, not a few, I had quite a few of people wanting to know how I record uh, the type of mount I have and the type of mic setup I have. So I thought I'd do a quick video on making a new uh, chin mount for my bike, uh, for my helmet, sorry. Uh, a lot of guys will get the uh, get the thing that sticks here on the side and then it kind of looks like a little thing that comes out and your GoPro mounts there. They're, they're pretty nice, they, they can, uh, but that costs, costs money, right? So my way is a little bit cheaper way than doing it that way. Uh, if uh, it may not work for you because you might not want to have uh, it mounted on the chin, you may want it up here, then you need a different way, or maybe you don't want to put two little holes in the front of your uh, your chin. But to me, they're there now, and no one can really yeah. see them. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how I hook up my GoPro. I'm going to make a whole new mount, and then I'm going to show you guys my mic setup too. So uh, stay tuned. All right. So you want to take your uh, GoPro sticky, put that somewhere up here, and you want to take your Sharpie, just trace around. Should have something like that. Okay. Just have to use your hacksaw and cut around. It's going to be a little bit tedious, but just take your time, and it doesn't have to be super perfect because you're going to take your file after and uh, straighten out the edges and stuff. So it'll be fine. Once you're done, you're going to have something that looks kind of like that, square, so you just need to uh, grind off the edges. Alright, so now I have all the uh, corners nipped off. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take my file and uh, just start filing down until I, I don't really see the... Or I just see the edge of the black and then I'll probably put it back up and make sure I didn't uh, cut it too small or anything so and now it's time to figure out where on the on the uh, chin of the helmet you want to mount it I'm obviously going to use the same holes that I used before with my old one. This is a piece of a plastic, but it's kind of warped a bit, so I could never get my GoPro sticky to mount to it good because it was, wasn't was a flat surface, basically. So that's why I'm making one out of metal. I made one out of a uh, uh, cutting board. It was about a lot thicker than this. It was like three times as thick as that, so it worked fine. It's still out there on my old helmet. and. The GoPro sticky is still on there. I've only ever had to put one. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over my old one. Mark out the two holes. That way it will still match on the two holes that I already have in the beak. Alright, so we have, a, uh, we have a drill bit around the same size as our screw that we're going to install so you want to make sure it stays nice and straight right now i just have it in my vise with a one of my wood clamps holding my little metal bracket down this one's good to go all the way through and if you want you can take a little punch and punch a little hole there well like a little divot in the metal so that your drill bit doesn't go off to either side and if you don't have a punch you can always just use like a head of a nail give it a little whack it doesn't have to be real hard just enough to make it not trace off the spot all right so I got uh, the two holes drilled like I showed before and then I took the bigger drill bit uh, that I had it's around the same it's just a little bit bigger than uh, the head oh sorry about that guys it's just a little bit bigger than the head of my uh, 
screw that I'm using. And I just use that really slowly, board it down a little bit at a time, just like that, till I'm around halfway through, I would say. And you keep checking. And that's, it could be a little bit better, but uh, this piece of metal is not that thick. So I think I'm going to leave it right around there. And now we're going to go ahead and get uh, get this side done. Alright, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update. I have the holes reamed out. I ended up uh, swapping out my screws. I had ones that had kind of like a, a bubbled head on it, I would call it. And I swapped it out for some flat ones, so now it's nice and even here. And it'll make the uh, it'll make the GoPro sticky stick on a lot easier. Should fit on no problem there now. All right, so you guys are looking at the nose of my helmet there now. So I just want to show you where my old screws passed through. One was right there. You can kind of see it looks like a little hole, but it's. Uh, you know what I mean? He can't really notice it. And the other one is right there. So, I mean, those two little holes, I, you're never going to notice it because it's all vents in the front of this anyway. Uh, another good thing to do, too, is to block off these vents so you don't get the wind blowing through here and hitting the mic because that's usually where I store my mic is right up here in the front. But I'll show you guys that later. All right. So, I'll close up. So basically, uh, the uh, bolts that I had there that passed through, they're a little bit long. I, I actually had to cut them basically in half. Took, uh, I'd say that's about three quarters of an inch. Oh, it's a little far for you boys to see, but about three quarters of an inch off of that, uh, off of that uh, bolt. And uh, if you do that, take your time going between the, uh, in between the threads. And at the end, uh, you might need to use one of your files just to tidy up the edges of the bolt. Pass that through. Uh, I have a lock uh, lock nut on there. And then a washer behind that just to give it a little bit more uh, area to grab, like a bigger footprint. So it doesn't put so much pressure. As you guys can see, she's on there now. She's not moving at all. So I'm going to get... Uh, you're going to want to make sure that this surface is super clean uh, so I got a little bit of brake cleaner here to start. I'll spray it on rag, clean it off, and then I'll make sure it's dry. Then I'll use this. This is uh, Bon Ami. It's a it's like a glass cleaner for your car and stuff. Bon, good, ami, friend in French, so good friend. But uh, so we're gonna clean it up after with that. And you'll probably notice uh, if you had any of your marker markings on there. Those will be starting to come off. All right, now comes the time. She's nice and clean and dry, shiny. Now it's time to uh, hook up our GoPro uh, sticky, I guess. If you guys ever notice, it always has 3M on the, the stickies. They make really good tape, and look at that, 3M uh, double-sided tape. Show you what I need that for later. So here you're just gonna put this thing on, make sure it's nice and straight. Alright, something like that looks pretty good. Just give her a good push here. You just want to keep some pressure on there too. Alright, guys. There it is. It's not too intrusive. If you're just driving around without the GoPro on, you probably wouldn't even notice it. If you wanted to, you could always uh, paint these edges, or even just use a permanent black marker. You could uh, get the shininess to go away, but uh, you don't really notice it if you're from back. Slide on. And then there's a little rubber thing right here. And if you plug that in, you won't uh, fall out. So. All right, so just got your basic uh, GoPro case, uh, and I the spot here on the side where your microphone 
plugs into your actual GoPro. I just drilled a hole out and uh, cut it kind of square. Use my files again to shave it down. That way I have access to get my uh, to get my uh, microphone jack inside there and plugged into the actual GoPro. Now they do make cases specific for that, uh, and I do plan on ordering one. Just haven't really got around to it. Uh, but uh, this this works for me and. It's cheaper than buying a, a brand new case. Alright guys, so this is the uh, setup that I use. I ordered this. It's called Purple Panda. It comes in this little fancy bag. comes with everything you see here pretty much. Uh, this stuff here is just sort of extra stuff that I don't need. First thing you're going to want to look at is uh, the compatibility guide. guide. Yeah. Mine is a GoPro Hero 3. So you need the uh, the end that has three lines, then the end that has two lines, and then to the microphone jack for the GoPro. If you have a camcorder, you'll need just these two, or Hero, you know, maybe if you just want to hook up your smartphones or your MacBook. So you guys want to look at that first for sure. All right, so this here is my whole setup. I got uh, the microphone with the. Uh, little fuzzy on it. There's a foam uh, one that comes with the microphone too. I put the fuzzy one on to block some more wind noise. It's a pretty long cord. So uh, your little plug-in uh, jack thing is going to be the one with the three lines on it, which was the first one here. Then it's going to plug in to the one that has two lines on it here. And that one plugs into your GoPro. So that's as simple as it is. All right, uh, just want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, you're always going to be, especially on a motorcycle, the four wheeler's not as bad, but uh, you're always going to be battling wind noise. I don't notice it at all, actually, on the four wheeler, but the same. So I asked a fellow moto vlogger. Uh, he's down in Australia. Uh, he drives the exact same bike as me. I'll uh, his big bike adventures. I'll I'll post a link to his channel just to give him some props and he gave me a couple tips he told me that the air vents here their wind might still be blowing through enough so he said that he blocked those holes with uh, tape so I just used some of my uh, Gorilla tape here cut it into small little cubes on the inside and plugged all the holes as much as I could you guys can see the gray that's like where you know it would listen or whatever uh, it's on both sides but uh, put a little piece of tape on the back side, which would be facing out into the air, so there's no wind noise can get in there. Foam uh, cover on. Obviously, you have to remember uh, which side you put the tape on. <laughs> you gotta put the little rabbit ears back on, or rabbit fur, or pom pom looking thing. Alright guys, so this is just the back of the helmet there. Uh, I don't do anything too fancy with the microphone. If you guys can see up there in the nose. Uh, that's the uh, little rabbit fur or fuzz ball or whatever you want to call it. I just kind of jam it right in there. There's a little opening that uh, the air vents would normally let air through. I jam it right there. I throw one little piece of tape along the side. And then here along the edge. Right along here, there's a little space that you can, uh, like I was saying, here along the side, there's like a little space that you can uh, get your finger up and in, and that's where I hide all the extra wire. I just go back and forth with the wire, kind of slide it up in that void. So right here is uh, where I tucked all my wire up and into and I just took a couple pieces of my Gorilla Tape and kind of start from here to here and here to here just so the wire can't fall out. Maybe on your helmet it might be different. You, you may not have a spot to hide it. You may have to hide it somewhere else or maybe you'll have a way better spot that will let you get it right up in there and you won't need the tape. But it's case by case type thing. Then you come to our first connection. Uh, right here and obviously this type of connection wouldn't be waterproof at all so 
just take another piece of the uh, of the Gorilla Tape. You can use whatever you have. If you guys only have uh, electrical tape, that's fine. It's actually what I had on here before, before I changed it. So now the next thing, we're going to have to find out, because I can't have, uh, I don't have anywhere to really hide this. So I usually like, last time I used a piece of double sided tape and stuck it right here along the side. 3M tape, and you don't need much. Stuff is good stuff. You may not think of it, just that little, uh, that little strip will be fine. So now I just take the uh, connection point, I stick it to that uh, double sided tape. And you may not think it, but it held, it holds really good. I had this helmet through uh, not any heavy rain, but I had it on the motorcycle. It's never come off. I've had it on a real heavy mist. It's never come off. It's really good tape. So now we're at our next connection there. Put a little bit of uh, duct tape on there just to make it water resistant we'll say all right so we got our uh, second piece of uh, 3m tape on my helmet I like to mount it right back here right above my mount and I have my piece that plugs right in there it is All right, I guess I'll give you guys a little sound uh, sound check. Sound check one, two, one, two. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it sounds like uh, when it's all plugged in, ready to go. Of course, I'm talking kind of low because it's no point of shouting. I'm in the house using my indoor voice. But yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a little uh, sample of what it sounds like. How's it going? I uh, thought I'd give a little disclaimer too for this video. You know, this isn't the only way you guys could set up your helmet. If you guys had a real nice adventure helmet, you may not want to do it this way. You may want to do it uh, uh, a different way, like with the mounting on the side, like I mentioned. But uh, this is just the way I do it. This, you know, it's a decent helmet. It's not, it's not like a six hundred dollar helmet or anything like that. So I don't mind uh, doing it the way I do it. So this is just a uh, cheap way, uh, more, f you know cost friendly I would say <laughs> it's the way I've always done it and uh, the sound comes out good so there's lots of other videos out there if you guys don't want to go uh, buy the purple panda kit like I say in the kit in the video purple panda if you guys don't want to buy this there's a really good video uh, a guy named T dubs kid he rides mo uh, like a little TW 200 street and trail bike but he makes some really good videos you guys should check him out really good at editing but uh he has a video on how to do an external mic using the, an old set of apple ear pods you know you have the little microphone hanging from your ear kind of anyways i'll uh i'll try to find that video and i'll post it down in the in the description so check out the description so anyways i hope you guys uh hope you guys like the video uh if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Uh, you guys can always hit that bell notification too. If you want to get notified uh, for the next time I post a video. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the great comments and everything. So I hope you guys uh, like the video. And I hope you, it helps somebody out there. And I'll see you guys on the next one.